First, separate all components according to the specific types. Remove the scoring tiles and the side cards as they won't be used in the introductory game. Shuffle all the 92 journey cards well and place them face down to form a deck. The youngest player becomes the first player and draws 5 cards from the top of the journey deck. And going clockwise, every other player draws a number of cards depending on the number of players. For example, in a 2 player game, I would take 5 cards and the other player would take 6. These are the starting hand of cards for all players, which players must keep secret from others. Next, draw 6 cards from top of the journey deck and place them face up in a row to the right of the deck. Keep some area besides for a discard pile. Then randomly select and place a number of special tiles face up from the total lot of 15, depending on the number of players in the game. For a 2 player game, it would be 5 tiles. Return the rest to the box as they won't be used for this game. Put all the 40 basic tiles in the Parikrama bag, give it a good mix and randomly draw 7 tiles one after another from the bag and place them in a row just below the journey cards. Keep the bag nearby for easy reach of all players. Place both the 14 point tiles just below the 7th basic tile. Then place the carriage, riverboat and truck hitchhike cards into the separate decks face up below the 4th, 5th and 6th basic tile respectively. As you can see, the tiles are positioned from 1 to 7 throughout the game. And that's all setup needed to start playing Parikrama. In case you want to play with the advanced rules, tune into the rule book. Use the reference cards provided for a quick overview of the actions and the in-game scoring. Parikrama is played over a series of turns Starting with the first player and going clockwise, each player takes two actions in their turn. First, they may play one or more cards from the hand to a single set and pay its cost. They can also close that specific set and gain bonuses. Then, they must either draw any three colored cards or one wild card if available from the six face-up journey cards in display and add to the hand. There are only two types of sets in Parikrama. It's either a sequence set or a multicolored set. Cards played to form a sequence set should all be of the same color but have a numeric sequence of values without any gaps in between. Cards played to form a multicolored set should all be of different color from each other but should have the same number. A color can't be repeated. The max number of cards possible in a sequence set is 7 while that of a multicolored set is 4. The white colored journey card or the wild card can mimic any color and number and can be used in either of these sets in appropriate places. As your first action, you can play one or more journey cards from your hand and pay the total cost, shown as white dots at the bottom left of the card. As a cost, you have to discard that many extra cards of any color from your hand to the discard pile. This is immediately after playing the cards. For example, in this case, I played three blue cards with a total cost of five, which is why I discarded five additional cards from my hand immediately after playing these cards. The cards being played can either begin a new set of cards or add to an existing set, that is, cards that were played in an earlier turn. If you're playing multiple cards, they should be played into only one set and the total cost of all cards played should be paid in that turn. During the game, you can have several existing open sets of either kind, but in a single turn, you can only play cards to a single set. Either you start that set or you add to an existing set, so on and so forth. In this case, you may not play this card because it's breaking the sequence. However, you can add a wild card plus this card so that it still maintains the sequence. In case of a multicolored set, you may not play more than 4 cards even if it was a wild card because the max number of cards allowed is 4. Which is why you can either play one card or you can play the wild card which can mimic 
the purple three. After playing cards from your hand, you may close exactly one set in a turn if you wish to. That set should have at least three cards in it and you should have at least played one card to that set in that previous action. If you did not play any cards at all in this turn, you could close any set which has at least three cards. There are some bonuses and steps after closing a set. First, take only the highest valued card in that set, tilt it 90 degrees and add it stacked to the right side of your play area. This part is known as the journal and this card is a journaled card. Secondly, all the remaining cards of the set which was closed are flipped and kept face down, stacked vertically on the left side of the play area and these are known as the backpack cards. Since all cards of a multicolored set are of the same value, you could pick any card to go to the journal. Next, pick a basic tile from the seven available tiles with the following restrictions. You can only choose from the first X tiles where X is the number of cards in that closed set. Secondly, the tile you pick must have at least one semicircle with the same color as the card you sent to the journal this turn. If none of the tiles colors match, you cannot pick a tile. Note that this tile adds to your Parikrama map, which is explained later. Once you pick a tile, move any remaining tiles one space to the left Refill back to 7 tiles by drawing a tile from the Parikrama bag. Lastly, if you closed a set with 4, 5 or 6 cards respectively, you gain either a carriage, riverboat or a truck hitchhike card and add it to your hand. If you closed a set with 7 cards, then you instead gain a 14 point tile and add it to your map. There is no such bonus for closing a set with the minimum number of cards, that is 3 cards. Remember, a wild card cannot go to the journal, be it a sequence set or a multicolored set. If you stack up 7 or more cards in your backpack at any point in the game, then immediately discard 7 such backpack cards to pick any one available special tile and add it to your map. You can retain any leftover cards over 7 and continue stacking up for the next set of 7 backpack cards. Both basic and special tiles join together as a grid and create your own Parikrama map. Except for the first tile, when you place new tiles on the map, it should be completely adjacent to the existing edges of the map tiles. You can rotate a tile freely before joining it to the map the colors and loops are not required to match when joining. However, if they're matched, they give certain benefits, as explained next. Both your journal and Parikrama map have colored circles that give you permanent card discounts on the cost of playing journey cards. For every complete circle of one color you have on your journal as well as the map, deduct the cost by one whenever you're paying for a journey card of the same color. You get this discount every turn when you play cards. For example, in this case, I played a total of two purple cards with a cost of four. From my journal, I already have three purple circles, which is why I only need to pay four minus three is equal to one card as a cost. In addition to discounts from journal and map, you may also spend one or more hitchhike cards from your hand to play a certain number of journey cards for free in a turn. The value mentioned in the white box denotes how many journey cards can be played completely free by spending this card. Note that this is a one-time effect. Once spent, hitchhike cards go directly to the journal. Alternatively, every hitchhike card can be flipped and played just like a wild card but with zero cost. The next action is drawing cards. From the six available journey cards, on every turn, you must either draw any three colored journey card or draw just one white journey card or a wild card if available. You have a hand limit of 10 cards. 
You can exceed your hand limit when drawing cards, but discard down to 10 cards at the end of your turn. Once cards are drawn, refill the empty slots with cards from top of the deck and restore back to 6 cards. At any point in the game, if there are 4 or more white journey cards, discard all the 6 cards and replace it with 6 fresh cards from the journey deck. Once you take the optional play and mandatory draw actions in order, your turn is over. The turn passes to the next player in clockwise order and the game continues with players taking turns to play and draw cards till a player adds a ninth tile to their map. That triggers the end game. Continue the current round till all players have had an equal number of turns this round. Then all players take one final round in turn order where they can only play cards from their hand. The game then ends and everyone proceeds to scoring. There are three ways to score points in Parikrama. Numbers, symbols and loops. For numbers, add the numeric value of all cards in the journal. To this, add the numeric values of those tiles in your map which show direct points on them. For each of the four symbols, that is wheel, lotus, knot and fish, count the number of appearances on your journal and then on your map. Multiply these two numbers to arrive at the score obtained for each symbol. Count the number of visible loops completed on your map and then all loops possible from your journal. Add them to get the total number of loops. Compare among all players. The player who completed the highest number of loops gets 14 points. In case of a 3 or more players game, the player with the second highest number of loops also gets 6 points. Add up individual points from each of these three factors for each player to get the final score. The player with the highest cumulative score wins the game of Parikrama and has the most fulfilling journey. In case of a tie, the tied player with the most number of loops is the winner. If there is still a tie, then tied players share the victory. That's all you need to start playing Parikrama. If you want a full game experience, make sure to add in sites and scoring tiles. Sites give an additional way to get points and add cards to your journal. Scoring tiles are the fourth way of scoring points in the game. Thank you and hope you enjoy the game.